Hi everyone, I'm coming at you today with a video on the Gucci Marmont in the velvet. Um, so I've had this bag for now three years and it's pretty much in mint condition and I've used it quite a bit. Um, so I'm going to give you uh, tips and tricks on how to keep it looking brand new like mine. Um, first off, this bag should be an occasional bag. And what I mean by that is that you should only be wearing it a few times a week max. If you're uh, hoping to wear this bag every day, then you're probably off getting uh, this bag in the all leather version. It is a bit more expensive, um, but it'd be better in the long run for you. The only difference between this bag in the velvet and the one in the leather is that um, the material on the ba on the bottom of the bag basically is lined with some sort of hard material like plastic or something. So if I were to knock on it, it does like a little tuck, tuck, tuck. It keeps a pretty good shape. The leather one doesn't have that same lining. So if you press on it, you can squish it. So this is a plus for this bag. It really helps keep its structure. So the first thing, you should never wear this bag in the rain. As soon as you get a little drop of water, rain, anything, it for some reason, it leaves like a little white cast on uh, the velvet. So in certain lights, you'll see the little droplets like where they landed. So it's gonna make the bag look old fast. So keep it out of the rain. The second thing, when you're using the bag, and let's say it's on a table or on a chair and then you just want to grab it don't ever grab it by the top like this because by squeezing it every time um, the flap of the bag is not as hard as the bottom it hasn't been like made as strong so if you keep um, pinching it after a while up here won't be like a nice little round um, shape it's gonna start pinching and looking like a tri triangle basically so yeah, so watch out for that. So try to always grab it by the chains. Another thing, when you're opening and closing the bag, the little clasps here, try not to press on that little tab. When I looked on the pre-love market, pretty much um, half of the bags I was seeing, that little tab here would get all um, rubbed uh, there'd be a lot of wear on it basically it would like leave again like a white cast because probably from the oils and the natural uh, greases from our hands touching it and closing it all the time so when you close it try to press on the gg logo as much as you can and you're still going to be able to close it but at least you won't be damaging that area by opening and closing it all the time um yeah the third thing is storage if you're like me and you like to store your bag on a nice shelf in your room, we tend to want to put this chain like this, you know, because it, it looks kind of cute. But the problem is the chain is uh, heavy. So after a while of leaning on top of the velvet, it kind of leaves little dense. Not dense, but the same idea, you know when you have a carpet and you put a chair or a table on it, and after a while you move that chair or the table, the um, feet leave like a little imprint on the carpet. You guys know what I mean? Well, it's the same idea. So let's say you're not using this for a week. So after a week, you come and get your bag. The chain has been lying there for a week, so it, it will leave like a little imprint. So some people would be like, oh, so just you double it up and you leave it like this. But no, because the chains are still, you see, now they're doubled. They're doing double the damage on both sides. So the best way is probably to put some sort of, well, to double it up, first of all, and to put some sort of material. This is the dust bag, but you could put a felt or something on the back and leave the chain on top like this. So if you want to display your bag, I would say put like a little piece of black felt, but um, like this, at least you're sure you're protecting uh, the chain from touching the bag. If you're the type to like to um, leave your bag in the box, in the dust bag, then I would 100% say put the bag in the dust bag and leave the chain out because like this you're sure that the chain won't touch the bag. And um, yeah, so I would definitely say 
leave the chain out and since it's in a box there won't be any dust so you're safe so that's really the best way of keeping your bag looking brand new and uh yeah because other than that this bag is perfect it's really just the velvet that's scaring everybody and the last thing i want to add is um if ever you're wondering if you should buy this bag brand new or on the pre-love market i would say you're probably better off trying to find finding it pre-loved but um in brand new condition the resale value on it is so basically this bag brand new is $1,580 US and after looking the highest price I could find, like I looked on Fashion File, and the most expensive one is around 1,300 something. So right away you're losing about two to $300 um, if you buy it and let's say a few days later you don't like it, you wanna sell it. So you're definitely better off trying to find it pre-loved and after a year, if you're tired of it and you wanna sell it, then you'll probably make uh, your money back but um, it's still a good deal though like on the website if you want to own um, a piece of Gucci Marmont it's definitely more affordable than the leather version so yeah so I hope you found this video helpful uh, if you did please give me a thumbs up and uh, if you like these kind of videos uh, please subscribe thank you so much have a nice day bye